Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's Hearthstone time. Okay, what do we got? The Spellstone again, not great, Despite, and Rummaging Kobold, who's 1-3 three for 3, but he returns one of your destroyed weapons to your hand. I don't have that many cheap weapons. I don't feel like he's going to work out in my deck. Sky Captain Craig again with Bloodsail Raider and Enzo's first mate. Those are not great for me. Brawl, Blood Warriors, and Commanding Shadows. I mean, this is kind of a combo, but... No, everything it gives me is bad. I don't want any of you. You're all terrible. You're a jerk. Ah, uh, I don't want that Spellstone clogging up my deck. Deathbite is good. The Rummaging Kobold, I think, is weak. I don't have weapons I'm going to use early on. I think I'm actually stuck taking the Pirates here, because Brawl is a super good card, but it doesn't favor my deck the way my deck works. Blood Warriors is tricky to use. Just puts them in my hands. Yeah, no, I can't. I am not happy with the card packs. And there's Womp Whisker. Again, I haven't been able to get that many big minions. I cannot, like, it's, it makes sense that the packs are rigged so that you're not getting these packs full of big minions. Although I could swear in my first run as the Shaman, there were some packs full of just, like, all, like, seven, eight, nine sort of mana big fat minions. That's what it feels like. Can't get them now for my, my life depends on it. I'm going to keep starting hand Honcho, even though my deck's getting more expensive, I might not be able to do stuff. I'm going to get rid of that, because I can't keep two expensive cards. And this one's not reduced to five. He is. Do I keep the War Axe? Wait, should I put him back? No, he he's all about the battle. All my big stuff is about the battle price, so they still all work poorly with his power. Oh my god. I'm just going to get crushed sized. I am so doomed. You know what, I'm going to put him back. i gotta, I got to get stuff I can cast. But I'm mostly going to die, because his deck is mostly full of big fat things that are coming out for free, basically. I only have two turns to get stuff out there first. It's going to be my end again, because I just can't get stuff to support that passive. The other passives did not, like, I should, uh... The spell's cheaper... Not very helpful for a warrior deck, though. I just wanted fat guys. Is it so much to ask? Ugh. Also, I've got no executes. I've never seen an execute. There's never been an opportunity for an execute, so that sucks. I'm going to put you out. I have a taunt, which can buy me one turn. If he gets non-taunt stuff, then I can play this and buff that and hit for a bunch of damage. Because rushing him is my only chance. And it's not much of a chance. Okay, so I got Craig. Craig is also pretty rushy. Don Honcho, who's not going to come out for free, but I will get the hand, the buff to a hand guy from him, eventually. Uh, so if I just do this guy, then I can hit for a shit ton of damage, which is what I'm going to have to do. I am going to get crushed, though. I'm not going to be able to keep him alive. And I'm mostly going to die. Rule is going to wreck me. I don't have any executes or anything. And Rotface, the most powerful thing out there. But he has executes. Awesome. He didn't even have to take six damage on a guy who would have survived. And Rotface is just the end of the world. Okay. So, if I assumed I was going to survive, I would rather get Rotface, because he's, like, the ultimate. But is he going to help me win this game? He has to survive damage. He's just going to get hit one by one of these guys and die. I have no way to cause him to take damage. Well, I could... Do I play him and then bash him to get a random legendary minion? I think that makes less sense. My opponent's going to get a random legendary minion from him. But I think Gruul is still the one I have to take. Even though he won't be able to attack right away. I think I have to take Gruul and bash that guy. That's my best chance. Okay, here's the other question. Is Gruul going to get executed? Yeah, I think he has multiple executes. Because I might be better off throwing this guy away for no gain. And then bashing this guy. 
to prevent Rotface from triggering off him if I can kill him with Gruel. But if if Gruel just gets executed, then it's that's it, game over. I'm not going to have any way to stop him. I think I got to give that a shot. No problem. Because because Rotface has to survive. He has to take damage and survive. So if he has to fight Gruel, he's not going to survive. Ultras are bad. Yep, amazing. Ah, oh, he got a guy that he could do that to. What you, okay, he got a battle cry legendary, thank god. At the end of my turn, Yip's going to summon a random minion with cost equal to his armor. This has just become the most nuts game armor. Ever. I've got... Oh my god. Okay, if I play the axe, I can kill him. It's well worth the damage. The Ultrasaur is a problem. He's going to kill a Yip. Nothing I can do about that, but it much, except I can... Hit this this guy. Okay, I think I can maybe protect Yip. I'm not going to get any more armor. In fact, I'm going to have very little armor. I'm not going to get a good summon out of him. But i got to try. I'm also protecting Guru effectively. So I'm only going to get a 3-cost minion out of Yip. But I kill him... And hopefully the Ultrasaur has to attack him. I get a free 4-cost minion out of nowhere. I'll take it. Okay, you maybe deal with a bowl of all the things. That 10 hit points is bad. Brawl. I don't want to brawl now. I just got the edge finally. The possible edge of edginess. Do I take more, 3 more damage on him? Or on him, he'd be virtually dead. Then I finish that with this guy, I get some rats, whatever. Because these two aren't enough to kill that. Mogor attacks a random enemy, so he's probably going to kill... It. He's going to screw me up no matter what. It's going to be bad. But uh, I play him and buff my hand, I guess. Make more armor. I don't think... Well, actually, if I use this, I won't have any armor for Yip. I'll be totally wasting Yip's power. But if I take the damage and kill that with one of these... That's solid. Okay. I can get the board cleared. Wow. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Thorzan and armor up. The, the domination seems to have done it. I managed to play around shit, unless something really ridiculous happens. Yeah, that's fair. Like him brawling. God damn it! Here I am busy not brawling. Come on, Gruel. No. Okay, I'll take Thorzan. Thorzan against nothing on his... Is, the fact that Thorzan won was amazing. I, I can recruit something... And play Don Honcho. Maybe send Honcho back into my deck. Okay, this is, this is, we're gonna do this because I can play this, and then I can still play the recruiter. If the recruiter gets the buff, it's even better. No, that's okay. She'll be okay. Recruit some dude. Sure, you're a dude. I'm going to get decked first, that's for sure, but I think he's going to die now. I don't think he can stop me unless he's got another Brawl. That's pretty good. That plus Brawl... Oh, God damn it! I hate you so much. His dragon better not win this Brawl. Okay. Whatever, I'll take it. Beat your face in. Summon a bunch of guys. That is the least impressive ever. This guy really does suck. That's why he's the one legend that I actually got in a pack. 
And let's Madame Goya, and we're going to put back Don Honjo, because Don Honjo actually does something. On the, I like this guy. Oh, I have no minions left in my deck, so her power didn't work. Please don't have another brawl. He's just getting minions for free now. That's not a brawl. Excellent. Oh yeah, that's a great last card. His power also useless. Hooray! And it didn't get buffed because Buddy was played from my deck. And so, I hate you so much. I hate you so much. But I'm going to kill your face, so I'll, I'll get over it this time. Here, die you, useless bud. Whoa, Cleaver! Whoa. Ugh. That was hard work. Okay, that's one of the really bad ones out of the way. Ooh, we've got some new things. Okay, so the small back, the start, start of the game draw two cards. That thing's very powerful. I don't know if it's the best for this deck. I I wouldn't want to take it for a mage last time. I think I don't think I got a chance. Your death rattles trigger twice. I don't have any good death rattles. I've got. Do I have any death rattles? That that is so not my deck. So that's another awesome card that I'm not going to get to use. Mysterious tome at the start of the game. Play three random secrets. So. Draw two cards from my deck, which is mediocre at best, although it would help me get to certain things faster, but I don't know. Or three random secrets, which don't come out of my deck. Earlier on, I would have definitely, this would, I take this 100%, because the uh, thing is, because drawing two cards at the start, while good, in those first two games, you could really run out of time. That being said, First two or three games, yeah. But uh, three random secrets, though. The, starting the game with the secrets, some of them are just not going to do very well. Like a mere entity is going to be crap early in the game. A lot of them would be okay, but there random secrets. There are some bad ones like snipe and reduced to one hit point. Paladin card. Just drawing two more cards. I should probably just. This is really interesting and fun. I think I should actually just go with the small back, back and just start with two more cards. It gives me a better chance to get to my Amulet of Domination, to get to him first, and yeah. And also, I've been trying to keep one of my like amazing expensive guys in my starting hand. It'll be a lot easier with that. So let's, let's take the back back for once, even though it's obviously one of the better things. I just haven't been taking it. We get another Sky Captain Craig, another uh, Budsail Cultist Ship's Cannon. I don't have enough Pirates for that. I don't care. Arcanite Reaper, the Rummaging Kobold, Forge of Souls. Let's draw two weapons from the deck. That is a good card. I only have like two weapons. Mortal Strike, Heroic Strike, and Blood to Icker. None of these help my theme. At all. You are all a bunch of crap, as far as I'm concerned. You don't help at all. You just watch. The next game I take where I don't take the, the minions over five cost five passive, it's going to give me... All, like, every time there's going to be one pack that's just all these huge fat guys. I'm going to be so pissed off. Sort of like now. Um, man. This is more stuff that kills things. Which, as my deck is getting bigger, my percentage of things that kill things has been getting smaller. This guy, Captain Craig, even though he costs more, he's not really helping. Cultists have another pirate for it to work. This requires pirates. I don't think I have enough weapons to support this stuff. Although the Arcanite Reaper would be nice. I think I'm just going to take the smashing. Things to do damage. Voodoo Master Vex. All pass... No, oh, sorry. All battle cries and death rattles trigger twice. I've got some battle cries. Although most of them are rec recruiting, which surprisingly doesn't help. That is the other problem with the draw two cards thing, is that... Uh, I keep getting decked because so much of my deck is shitty recruiting stuff. And I think some of these recruiting cards are awesome, but stupid legendary 1-2-3 recruiting guy, not awesome. The 5-mana 2-4 guy could be good in a constructed deck, maybe, but he sure as hell isn't good in this deck where I don't have enough control over what cards there are. I'm not keeping you. Wait, I, I get the two cards 
after the mulligan? That's kind of annoying. I wanted a bigger mulligan. Still, it does it does cushion my draw somewhat. Ooh, look at all these things. His battle cry will trigger twice, accomplishing nothing twice. Um yeah, let's play Warbot first, whatever. I don't need to attack with that weapon right away, I might as well hang on to it. Taskmaster this, I'd be hitting for four. I don't know, I have, I have no idea what the other stuff in this guy's deck is. I would be hitting for four, he'd be a four two. This guy would do more damage, but I don't really need that. I, I think I'm going to do this, just go for the aggro right now. I forgot it was a double battle cry. I mean, I hit for six, but now this is more vulnerable than I planned. Hey, you gotta take out that Grave Digger, dude. You've already done your job. Actually, I can take it out with this. So let's do that. I remember the double battle cry. He's gonna get two minions out of that, but he he's got he's got he does not gonna have the mana to cast them for ages. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get an early lead here. Not that he's short of hit points. These later bosses have a lot of hit points. Many hit points. Shit! So that is a board wipe. That's pretty unpleasant. I'll be prepared to recover from a board wipe now. Do I make it go off myself? Because he's going to do it anyway. He might do something dumb, though. I gotta, I gotta trigger this. So that it gets killed by the four damage thing. Oh, he's gonna get two of them. Oh my god. Ah. Just worry about rebuilding my army afterwards. Do I want this in my deck? Because stealing this right now might clinch the game. It would add a copy of it to my deck, which is not ideal. I think stealing that might just win me the game. I think stealing that might win me the game. Let's find out. Because I have this now, I am not going to trigger that. I'll let him do it. I'll just do all the damage with these guys. For all I know, his AI might do something dumb and, like, play minions or whatever. And then explode it. Copying the death rattle. See, that's dumb. Arlo, is it going to trigger after? Oh, you dick. Okay. Alright, he's not so dumb. He did work it out properly. Dick. I'm going to explode that. Get totally safe right now. And then we're going to recruit half our deck. Here they are. Here are all the minions in my deck. They cost three or less. Sorry, they have three or less attack. The cost is irrelevant. Which means you could do cool things with him again in a constructed deck, which is not this. That's going to give you a shit ton of dudes, but I'm hopefully going to beat your face in first. So I got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 damage if I just hit right now. That seems like the thing to do. Uh, actually, 16 and another 4, 20 if I blood to Icker him. He survives, I get the 2-2, two, two, but it'll enrage him, so yeah, okay. That would be the thing to do. I don't think I need to kill the cat. I think it can do its own thing, and then if I kill it, those hyenas would be able to attack now, whereas... Are you dead? 1-4, I am one damage short of killing him. And I don't have another use on the axe, so I can't count on it for next turn. Wow. Let's uh, make those things cheaper. And hope he doesn't have more sheep. He might have more sheep. Um, I don't think making those things cheaper helps me. Right. I failed to cancel it. We'll just try this anyway, I guess. Okay, how many sheep you got? The sheep has to attack. That's five damage to his own minions. That's not helping him that much. Nope, super dead. 
Aw, you're really good at not helping right now. Um, well, since I've got him easily dead, and since it seems like fun... Actually, you're the one. I don't like you. You can die. There's some crazy weirdness. Dig those graves. And then... Okay. I was wrong. Stealing the egg did not win me the game. But we pulled through anyway. What do we have? Gather your party. That is not friggin' useful in this not-constructed deck. Dead Man's Hand, shuffle a copy of your hand into your deck. I mean, that would have been useful early on, maybe. But another Madame Goya? She's not good. She's not getting constructed. She's really not good in here. Got Captain Craig. I don't care. So it's the Captain. I don't have that many pirates. Ships Cannon. I don't have that many pirates. Shield Maiden is fine. She's one mana cheaper in here. Dry Whisker Armorer. For each enemy minion gain two armor. He's a pretty solid two drop. And Shield Slam. I think I'm just taking the armor stuff. This is a terrible group. Like, the, this recruit stuff. Recruit in a limited format. Ugh. Okay, the, the recruit stuff in the arena can... I, I shouldn't be saying it. It's just the recruit stuff in the arena could be good. But you can't... A lot of it is over-costed because it's assuming that you are rigging it in your favor. And I have no ability to rig it in my favor. That is the problem. Destroy three of your mana crystals to take an extra turn. That is some weird time. That takes ten mana. Wow. I'm concerned this person is going to have a lot of stuff to get additional mana and then start time locking. Deck's getting big and fat. I have not severely improved my stuff. I can't believe how hard it is to just get stacks of big, fat minions. Not these, like, big minions with complex combo-related battle cries. Where are all the just, like, hi, I'm a 6-7 for 6. Hi, I'm a 10-10 for 10. That's all I needed for this to be really good, but instead I've got Master Oak and Fart. Okay, I'm not going to keep the starting hand brawl. Because I'm keeping Ogenheart, I'm going to get two extra cards, and I'm going to hope I can get enough cheap stuff out of that. The Bash is pretty versatile. Uh, I need some cheap minions. Wow, I got everything that's not a minion. Oh, thank God. So you can't do it. You start... No, you didn't start with extra mana. Okay. So what do you actually do? What is in your deck other than like you get to? Uh, you just you're just gonna tank up like crazy so that you live long enough that you can start blowing up your mana crystals and take an extra turn every three turns. That's a concern. Every three turns. Um guess I'm gonna do this. Spells cost zero this turn. Oh my crap. You dick. Oh my god. This boss is insane. As if you have that, you're... Oh my god. That is ridiculous. The looming presence is already pretty rough, but like, okay, that's fine. It helps to deal with the fact that the AI is not as good as a human AI, generally. But the the special card, the special boss card that makes all your spells free, like, what the hell, what is he again? Whenever you cast a spell, shuffle a copy of it into your deck. That would prevent him from decking himself. Decking himself is his primary way to die, I'm guessing, so I've got to kill that. On the other hand, I could play big shit right now. Oh, leaving that guy alive is terrible. You're if he casts... <sighs> I can't let it... I can't let that exist. 
if he casts the thing that makes all his spells free, he's going to automatically win. I believe. Pr not automatically, but pretty close. Like, I'll never recover. So i got to spend... I'll get a heroic strike him, and then I won't be able to do much else with my turn. I could armor up, and then shield slam him, and still not be able to do much else with my turn. I could mortal strike, and still not be able to do much else with my turn. As much as I have all these great guys I can do for five... Would you shut up? Freaking dick. You're causing problems. I can't let him just cast all the... I can't let him do that. I have to kill that guy. I think Heroic Strike is the way to do it. I'm going to kill that too, because this guy's not much use once he's in play. And I'm going to deal with the fact that my turn is basically nothing, and his secret is probably going to give this guy back to his hand or something. Not a duplicate. Okay, he had, a, he had enough space in his hand for it to be a duplicate. Wow, that's not good either. And I can't kill him very conveniently. Awesome. I've got all my big stuff. I'm just going to have to try and go big instead of going home. We just drop Gruel. Gruel is very large right now. Let's just try it. I think I'm probably... Oh my god. He's got two copies of Gruel in his hand. His Gruel hopefully costs a full eight, though. The Lich King! He has, like, infinite cards in hand. Gruel can barely kill that guy. All his stuff's getting cheaper, that's right, including his two Gruels. My god. This is nuts. Like, this is insane! What is even happening? Holy <laughs> crap, I wish I had armor buffs now so I could do a bit more with the shield slam. Uh, if you have 12 or less health is how it's worded, so that's not going to help anytime soon. It's going to be 4 damage. I kind of expected when I took it, but yeah. So I can spend both of these to kill him. Or actually, this would give me 3 armor. I would then be able to finish him for 1 more mana. So it's still, either way, it's two of my good spells. Or I could kill that. Gruel would be at one. Play one of these guys. I mean, he might give me Taunt, which would protect me from him. This is going to be so bad, no matter what. I want to play him and get the buff, but... Man. This is insanity. Okay, give me some... Taunt? I'm going to get screwed by leaving him alive. It's going to be really bad. And no taunt. Awesome. I'm glad he lost that flame strike. Decking him would be a very slow process. Oh my god, his deck is full of big minions too. That he's now getting up for free. What the hell? Okay, this would give me a guy, and I'd have seven armor, so I would be able to do a nuke for seven. This is plus five spell damage, but this is... All of his things need to die. <laughs> They're not going to. So this would let me do this. Seven damage for two mana. Oh, nine damage for... Actually, because I'd have two mana left up, be armoring up anyway. So I would have... Yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine armor... I could blow him up and just take him out with that. Uh, Gruul is going to die no matter what if he hits that thing. Like, this will take out him. Can I leave Malagos alive, though? That's terrible. Terrible. Really bad. Oh, my God. Slams. No, I think I gotta do the shield slam while I can. I can take the hit. To kill Malagos, I took lose. I think I have to leave Malagos alive, which will guarantee to screw me. But I'm just I'm gonna lose if I don't have Gruul out there doing damage. I think. I think I'm screwed no matter what I do. Maybe he's not the one I should be killing. Maybe this is worse, but, like, he also does 10 damage. So I'm going to kill that. And then I've got a fairly sizable army. 
to knock off that armor with. But I'm concerned that whatever he's, he's just going to cast him. Oh, Arch Archmage's Insight, I lose. I was going to lose anyway if he had Arch... As soon as he got the Archmage's Insight, which he was bound to get again, he, the Archmage's Insight was pretty undefeatable. I got all my expensive minions that I could cast for five. There was no way I could compete with the bullshit that he was pulling out. Archmage's Insight is so powerful. And of course, his other stuff does synergize pretty well. Nope. Where's my Brawl? Brawl would have been really nice right about now. Buff him? You're going to buff Madame Goya again, aren't you? No, you did buff him. Yay! That almost does half a useful thing. Almost. Oh, now you're time walking. Awesome. Right, you don't even do, really take damage. I mean, if I had a control -y deck, I was going to try and deck him somehow, but... Okay. Remember, he's got... She's got two more gruels in her hand. She hasn't played him yet, because he was like, eh, gruel, what's he going to do? That's not a brawl. Game over. It was pretty much a game over with brawl, but, like, super game over now. What the crap? That is not super defeatable. <laughs> ah, you're vulnerable now. I don't feel like they actually lost three mana crystals from that still in time. Like, they would have... When they take the extra turn, they would get one back. They shouldn't have been back up to ten yet, though. What the crap? That is an insane boss. And that was only number seven. Although I'm guessing there's not a whole lot of difference between seven and eight at that point. You have the card that makes all your spells cost zero, and half of your spells draw you cards. The other half are huge. Of course you win. <sighs> okay, well... Oh, that was even... S that was, oh, no, it was number seven. Six of eight defeated, right? Jeez. Well, I apparently got lucky on my first run through, because it is not going to be easy to win these, but we're going to try and get another win somehow next time. If you enjoyed this, please activate the like button and check out Tales from My D&D Campaign on youtube.com slash demonax.